behind him. A view of the Atlanta skyline and all the action below it, as seen from the 17th Street Bridge. A hard-fought series. It will end here tonight. The deciding Game 7, Round 1 in the East. Happy to bring you all the action live on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. A look at the starting group for the Magic. Fultz and Ross pair up to make the backcourt. At the 4 and the 5, we have Gordon and Vucevic. And it's Isaac in at the 3 slot. And for the Hawks... Herter the two with Hunter at the three. Collins a power four with Lan at center. And it's Young in at point guard. Here we go. So Atlanta will get the first possession. Herter passes to Hunter. Outside Collins. Young with no one around. Sinks the triple. This is what the crowd comes to see. Young has that it factor. The pass to Ross. Over in the corner, Isaac. Inside, Gordon kicks to Fultz. Just four to shoot. From past the arc, that one's not going to go. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. They came out on top in their last match on Wednesday. And you've got to love a team that can maintain its composure on the road. Take good shots and knock them down with confidence. Well, efficiency is critical. And I love how they ran their offense and got quality shots out of their sets. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Now, here's Hunter. He's covered by Isaac. In the corner, Collins with it. Lenke kicks to Hunter. Here's Herder. And it's going to be out, out of bounds. bounds. The Magic will take it. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, Steve Clifford had a few minutes to share with me, and just being relaxed in this atmosphere is going to be difficult. He knows that. He hopes that that nervous energy his players have translates into extra effort. We'll see if they can be aggressive enough tonight to win the series on the road. Kevin? Thank you, David. Here's Young. Markel Fultz making his last shot. Young dishes to Hunter. Outside, Cowan. Passes it to Hunter. And here's Young from the arc. Rebounded by Vucevic. Just one of four from the floor. Not the start they were looking for here. Ross passes to Gordon. Here's Fultz. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. To the inside. Young. Banked in off the glass. Young's got five points so far. You gotta like seeing this from Young. Well, wanting to prove he's more than just a jump shoot. Pass to Gordon. To the middle. Here's Vucevic. Rebound by the Hawks. You know, currently they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. And Herter gets it to go. The Magic trail by five. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Pass to Vucevic. Isaac kicks to Ross. Just five on the clock. Another miss by Orlando. Well, the defense got lucky there with him missing. But they don't want to chance that again. Here's Herter. Len passes to Herter. On its way from Young for two. And again, it's Atlanta. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. And now the first timeout called here for the Magic. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer.
And it's a completely new group for Atlanta. One fifty-eight left here in the first quarter. Augustine against Turner. Outside Fournier. Six to shoot. Parsons with some nice D. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. That one drops for him. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Now here is Augustine. Fournier dishes to Amini. Misses the wing jet. On the wing, Turner. Kicks it to Parker. And the pass to Reddish. Jones trying to get open. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Time called here. The Magic decide to talk it over. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. There's 48 seconds left in the first. Turner against Augustine. Out of bounds as Orlando keeps possession. There's 39 seconds left in the first quarter. Passes to Carter Williams. Clock at four. It's deflected. In building this lead, they've done a terrific job finishing their defensive sequences with the backboard. That has been key. Yeah, you're right, Greg. Not one second chance bucket for the opposition. They're boxing out on every shot. Now here's Turner. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. He kicks it to Park. And it's Orlando with the rebound is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And so it's Atlanta. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And we're back courtside at game seven as this series comes to a head. And a very convincing performance here from the Hawks so far. What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively, they put it all out there in that opening quarter. And Orlando has possession. 11 point game on the court for Orlando. Carter Williams is out there with DJ Augustine. Then there's Al Farouk Aminu. Then it's Bamba and it's Fournier in at the three spot. The Frenchman Fournier always looking to get the shot up, but really good at drawing fouls. The first free throw is good. And in a relatively short time, Fournier has really increased his role in the league. I mean, he's a player you have to guard and, and keep an eye on at all times. And so he hits both. The Hawks leading by nine. 
Turner finds Parker. Pass to Jones. Four on the shot clock. Reddish's shot is good. Reddish has got the lead up to 11 now for the Hawks. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Back to Augustine. Pass to Bamba. Let's it go with a three. That one, no good. And Atlanta will come the other way. Reddish the pass to Turner. And here's Reddish. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Hawks. They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. And free throw good from Reddish. Young's check in for Atlanta. And good on the second, so he makes them both. We play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. Augustine against Young. Outside Fournier. Now the pass to Bamba. Offensive rebound. Passes it to Carter Williams. Lock at six. He tries for three. Orlando getting another chance here. And Jones sends it back. Bamba finds Augustine. From deep three-point range, rebound by Parker. And he missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. But well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. And it was maybe a step out of his range. Now here's Turner. Parker drives in. And it's blocked. Aminu, the pass to Fournier. And Augustine kicks to Carter Williams. Pass to Fournier to stop the drought. The Magic again can't hit. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Hawks. This is the most they've led by 13 points. Now here's Reddish. Defense is right there. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Checked in for Jones. John Collins comes in for Parker. Hunter's checked in for Evan Turner. And Kevin Herter subbed in for Reddish. Yeah, and you know, it's important that folks continue to develop his in-between game because he knows when to pull up. Len dishes to Young. For the three. Missed it, shooting 50% at three for six. Ross passes to Fultz. Kicks to Gordon. Back to Fultz. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Fultz has got his third basket of the night right there. 
Young dishes the land. Young with the ball. And it's Gordon picking him up. Now here's Land. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Cowens finds Young. Off target from three-point range. And just not able to find the target from three-point range here in the second quarter. Although he did knock down one in the first. Fultz with the ball. He's against Young. For three, Ross. Collins grabs the miss. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Herter passes to Young. The three. Kept alive by Atlanta. Collins. He can't get it to go. The Magic trail by 11. Now Fultz. He's got six. Pass to Vucevic. Over Young. And Vucevic with the basket on the assist from Fultz. Vucevic has got it back down to within single digits for Orlando. It's Young on the wing, guarded by Fultz. Another miss by Young. Boy, oh, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Now, here's Hunter. He's covered by Isaac. And Herter gets it to go. And how about the awareness Hunter possesses, understands when one of his guys has an opportunity. Fultz with the ball. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. And it's been their rugged defense setting the tone. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Clifford. What was the biggest problem for your guys in the first half? Well, you know what? We're a defensive team first, and we've been good defensively. We've been organized. We weren't that in that first half, and that's what we've got to concentrate on to get the game going back our way. See if you revert back to your form in the second half. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're sitting there's in. There's only three of us. Right? And, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Checking out Atlanta, it was a good, solid first half of basketball they played, and I'm sure they're going to be focused on extending that lead quickly in the third quarter to ensure this is not a game seven that's going to go right down to the wire. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on how Atlanta played? Whatever you need, Mr. Kish can provide. Shooting the ball, passing it, has the size of play one through five defensively. Very assertive in the first half. And over to Kenny. How about what you saw from the Magic? They need to make major adjustments on the offense. Whatever that game plan was going into this game, scrap it. It's not been effective. The shots they were taking were not good shots. They need to find a way to spring guys open where they can shoot a better percentage. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. One. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Guys, you got to like what Cam Reddish has done in this game so far. And you know, some guys just love the big stage, and so far tonight, he's been the difference. Yeah, he has been. You never know how the role players are going to respond to big game pressure. He's showing us what direction he goes in. Straight north. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Collins a power four with Lan at center. Young and Herter make up the back. And it's Hunter in at the three. So that's the Hawks five. Now here's Ross. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Over Hunter. 
And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Ross has got the first basket of the third quarter for the Magic. The pass to Len. Here's Herder. Vucevic defending. Herder, no good. You can see he just rushed that a little bit. Lost the focus, I think. Here's the teardrop. Fultz, no good. The Hawks leading by nine. Here's Hurt. Ross grabs the board. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. And here's Fultz. He's got six. Now here's Ross. Good defensive work there by Young. To the left side wing. Now Hunter. Young outside. Beyond the arc. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. And Atlanta calls their first time out of the game. Jones checked in for Len. Jabari Parker comes in for John Collins. Reddish, he's checked in for Kevin Herter. And Turner's subbed in for Young. And Turner kicks to Parker. Passes it to Hunter. Tipped away. That one doesn't drop. The Magic go the other way with it. Here's Carter Williams, and he uses the glass on the layup. And now it's only a five-point Hawks lead. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets, Greg, resulting from assists. They're playing as one unit out there. And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. And as the receiver, he doesn't feel the need to go for the monster finish that time. I mean, laying it up for the two points worked out just fine. And so it's Turner with it. He brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Parker drives in. The baseline, Jay, off the mark. The Magic trail by seven. Carter Williams kicks to Augustine. Back to Carter Williams. Right side, Fournier. Rebound by the Hawks. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Now, here's Fournier after the miss from Cam Reddish. Fournier goes in. Good on the 13-footer. Well, you can consider it automatic when Fournier gets some space to shoot from there. Turner dishes the puck. That ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. Parker's got his second basket of the night. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Pass to Augustine. It's good from long range. Augustine's got himself on the board with three there. And, and that quick trigger of Augustine not giving the defense any chance to block the shot off the pass. Atlanta calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Some changes. Len comes in for Jones. And Parsons subbed in for Hunter. Orlando also making some changes. Aaron Gordon comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. And Isaac subbed in for Carter Williams. Oh, here's Parker. 
And now Bamba pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Well, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. And, you know, it's taken a big run, but they were able to get back into this one. Very impressive. No quit in these guys. Gordon against Parker. That shot, no good. Gordon with the defensive effort. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. Here's Isaac. And they're unable to get the time basket there. And if they're thinking, they can get a two-for-one here. Well, we'll see if they have the awareness to realize that. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. They get it back. And the dunk by Bamba. Bamba's got crazy length and impressive height, obviously, at north of seven feet. Helps him on that offensive board, but his tenacity, a big part of that, too. Parker with it. From deep. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Hawks ahead. They're up by three. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the big fella here showing us he's got some point guard skill here with the tremendous setup. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more when it's made by the big fella. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. So on the floor for Orlando. At the four and the five, we have Gordon and Vucevic. Fultz and Ross pair up to make the backcourt. And it's Isaac into the small forward position. Six to shoot. Here's Herder. Here's Len. And there's two points. Working on the glass, paying off that time. Len's got his first points of the game. Fultz the pass to Ross. Now here's Vucevic. Len grabs the board. Lamb's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Hurt. He's guarded by Ross. Pass to Collins. That's in coming off the assist from Young. And the Hawks lead by seven. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. Here's Ross. Plays it up off the glass. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. Young left side. That one off the back iron and out. And, you know, even though they're on top, they're winning. I mean, they could use more from him. Trying to shut the door on this one. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Now Fultz after the miss three from Trey Young. And finished off by Fultz. you got to step in front of Fultz, guys. I mean, he's solid when he I'm comes out, out. rolling to the rim to hammer it down on these drives. Atlanta calls timeout. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Hunter's checked in for Chandler Parsons. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, guys. I got a chance to listen in on what Lloyd Pierce was saying to the team. He told him, hey, this game is there for you, but we got to go get it. 50-50 balls, get into the basket. We have to give it all right now. Kevin?
And that one falls for Collins. one falls so he hits both of them just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter time call here the magic decide to talk it over trying to find some answers offensively yeah and you know that's going to be the focus of this timeout they need to come up with a spark to get the offense going ladies and gentlemen dance team Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. And it's DeAndre Hunter with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Now here's Ross. Tight defense on him. Five to shoot. And there's the pass to Gordon. Over Young. And it hung on the rim but wouldn't fall for it. Here's Hunter. And that one, good. Hunter's got his first basket of the night. Awesome concentration there. When Hunter's committed to scoring, he's hard to stop. Here's Ross. True on the 14-footer. In the mid-range. Rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. It sure is, Greg. It might be the strongest aspect of their offense here. Now, here's Collins. Vucevic with the block. Denied. Return to sender. That's something you expect from a seven-footer like Vucevic. I like to say a guy making a shot like that, Fultz has the clutch G. Doesn't shy away from the big moment. to the inside Hunter and it's sent back by Isaac and he recovers it and he's able to get it back there's the killer two-handed slam and I like how poised Isaac is excellent calmness and control that's impressive for a young guy 139 left in the fourth quarter they get the rebound Collins good and the Hawks lead by one. Really strong rebounding on the interior. And he gets the easy putback. Now here's Fultz, defended by Young. Hooked away. Young with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for Atlanta. And there's Hunter on the assist from Young. Now it's a three-point Hawks lead. And we saw this in the national title game. Hunter embracing the moment and delivering in the clutch. Now here's Vucevic. Second shot opportunity. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Alex Len picks one up. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Atlanta. And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. I've been impressed with how well they've penetrated tonight, too. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. You know, he was the 16th pick in the 2011 NBA draft, and Vucevic became an all-star for the first time in 2019. Took him a while, but he got there. up making the second and that brings them within two here. Only down two now but that miss might come back to haunt me. If they don't get a stop it's back to a two possession game. Young inside. Guarded by Fultz. Young's shot is off. 
Yeah, that was a million dollar crossover to free him up, but that finish, getting 50 cents. Elbow shot. They get a bet. Gordon. Yes! Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. The score is tied at 40. 30 seconds left to play here in the fourth. for our Jordan player of the game, Arkel Fultz. And he's had a very good night shooting the basketball. A little over 50% from the field. And a lot of those shots have come against some tight D. That shows the level of his focus and consistency. So it's the Hawks now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. It drops. So calm when the game is on the line. Young knows it's his job to bring this game home. Now a timeout called by Orlando. They're trailing by two. 24 seconds left in the game. Seconds left to play in the final quarter. Passes to Vucevic. Collins grabs the miss. And they commit an intentional foul. You see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. No, you got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down to free throws here. Foul right away. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And the comparisons to Steph Curry, it's understandable. Young's shooting ability is off the chart. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a five. Either way, they got to score the ball. Seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Lane with the block. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here. He hits the first one, and that gives them a four point cushion. He's off on the free throw and able to get that second one to drop in. Ross with a wide open look, and that falls. Man, I like the three-point stroke of Ross. Gets it off so effortlessly. Man, he's got terrific form. And they're going to move on to the conference semifinals. 
thrilling fashion, guys, taking round one in what certainly will go down. Uh, guys, it's one of the most competitive series this year. And, and you always love a game set and, and no disappointment here. And, and these guys are ready and excited for round two. Maybe a bit tired, but the adrenaline is still pumping. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you can join us during this first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg.